hello <laughs> so today i'm doing my second uh zodiac series video i'm so happy you guys loved the first one which was capricorn right i was actually really nervous to put that up i don't know why i just was like i didn't know how people would like the look but the response was so good you guys loved it i got so many amazing comments and lovely comments so thank you so much and today we're gonna do another one and i'm excited because this one's gonna be more colorful so today is aquarius i've done some research <laughs> and you guys will have to let me know if you're an Aquarius and if you think that this is accurate what I'm about to say oh my god I keep getting pop-ups at the top of my screen like you not so an Aquarius is um, someone who is very community orientated oriented orientated that's not a word is it community oriented the sign that rules groups and teams bringing people together around a cause a political agenda um, they've got a lot of energy they're very out there kind of people very centric uh, very imaginative I guess just very creative always thinking of new ideas and like nothing is too out there for them like they'll think about any idea no matter how realistic or unrealistic it may be very friendly people they like to help other people and they have a lot of concern for the welfare of other people just very nice people um, and eccentric I guess and just like out there so I'm gonna do something colorful first of all Aquarius really like speaks to me in blue obviously aqua the symbol is a water bearer I mean water blue and then some of the birthstones include amethyst so maybe some purple like reflect or something who knows let's just see what I come up with um, and you guys can tell me what you think of the look. So I'm gonna jump straight in. As you can see, I've already got my base on. Um, I did the same base as I did in my, the best glowy makeup look ever, or best dewy makeup look. I'll link it down below. And I've got the XO Beauty Loosen highlighter all over. And my under eye is creasing so badly. I used my um, Bare Minerals while well rested under my eyes. And I think I like, used too much or something and it just creased, so we're gonna have to fix that in a bit too. And, the lighting's been fine all morning. Classic. Of course, now I start filming and it's terrible. I am, like I keep saying it, I'm getting a professional in. Like, no, seriously, he's booked in. He's coming. He's driving from Auckland to come to my house and install lighting. So I'm just, like, praying that it looks good. I'm so terrified. Anyway, hopefully it all works out. And I'll still use natural light, of course, when I can. Like, because I love natural light. But it's, like, this time of year, it's just impossible to, like film a friggin tutorial without the lighting changing a million times anyway let's jump in got my brows on too in case you couldn't tell <laughs> i'm just gonna pop some too faced lip injection oh my oh my god i thought i wasn't filming Whew. lip injection this stings like a mofo but it works i actually was thinking i could use that new natasha denona palette from memory they've got some cool like turquoise shades in there and i've only used it once yes look how perfect that is um, I used it in a live stream and loved it. Like, really liked it. I think I did a mini Instagram tutorial using it. <clears throat> yeah, I did actually. So scroll on my Instagram and you'll find it. And I love it. Like, I love the colors. I love the quality of everything. But this is so expensive. So, I mean, you can always use, like, Makeup Geek or Morphe or something. Because um, I've got heaps of colors like this too. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Eye Base, which... <laughs> I kept it from my declutter and then I was like looking for it to link it for you guys and I'm pretty sure you can't even buy it anymore so that was a fail but I actually ended up quite liking it it's just so thick and yellow it's like a strange color on my own skin tone but it works well so you know yeah no you just like go with it whatever okay honestly I don't even know what I'm doing today for my makeup at all I just know the colors I want to use but I don't know like what kind of eye look to actually do since um, it keeps saying Aquarius are quite like eccentric and like out there, I feel like I want to do something quite bold and like out there. And the reason I went for dewy skin is because I want to go for like that glossy look. Because once again, aqua, like water, I want to be like, I don't know, just like wet looking almost. Like maybe not wet, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to start with the shade Laguna. Like I feel like that's suitable. Actually, maybe we'll go in with fake tan first because just to make it easier to blend. These colors blend out so easy. And I'm gonna like go quite warm because I feel like I'm gonna use some bronzer and stuff to balance out the bright color. So I'm going warm in the crease before I start with the color just so that it all kind of ties in together rather than just going straight into the cool tones. 
By the way, this brush here is a crease. Oh my God, I just went into the wrong color. Oh well, we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> um, crease blender brush, big so beauty. Oh, look at that under eye creasing, like. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm gonna go in with Laguna now, which is the bright blue. I'm gonna like load my brush up. <sighs> this is bright. And I'm just gonna, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing at all. This is one of those days. Doing tiny little like blendy motions into the crease. By the way, I was reading all of your comments on my last unboxing of video from the other day and I will definitely be doing some first impressions on lots of the stuff including like the Laura Lee palette and the new foundations and everything so just hold tight I'll get them done I've actually been spending most of this week just cleaning I haven't really filmed much like I've been vlogging but I just have been cleaning <laughs> which is good the house is looking good okay we're looking absolutely crazy might just take a slightly darker blue to Kind of just emphasize my crease a little bit. I'm gonna take some of the shade called Peacock by Makeup Geek and I might even mix a little. Oh, I just dropped it. I am so butterfingers today. I'm gonna mix it with the shade Laguna from like the one I've already put on and just start darkening. And this is a firm blender brush this time to get a little bit more precision. I should have really done my eye makeup first because I'm gonna get like mad fallout. I'm not being scared to blend this like really high too because I want it to be super bold. And now I'm gonna take the shade Laguna, so the first blue color, the brighter one, and I'm gonna run that like just all the way underneath because this will help disguise some of the creasing. Wow, I look very pretty right now. <laughs> Okay, we need some eyeliner in this waterline because it's looking creepy. Let's go with the shade Electric by Urban Decay. I'm gonna smudge it into the um, actual lashes, to, I mean into the lower lash line too. So I'm just drawing it underneath a little. And then just go in and smudge that closely. I just use the, use, I just use it, the firm blender brush to do this. It looks so much better. Okay, so now we are looking like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my eyelid. And then now that I've blended this out, I'm just gonna take the shade Mint Frost, which I'm highly excited about from that corner. And we're going to pack that just on. <gasps> that's so pretty. Wow, isn't that just, wow. And that's going all the way down to the inner corner. Not in the inner corner though, just like to the inner corner. I didn't even put on much. It's just so buttery and amazing. I'm just so happy with that color. It is so gorgeous. It looks like I've just put on like a Stila Magnificent Middle or something. Like it's so reflective. <laughs> so good. Okay, now we are going to do some graphic eyeliner. Not graphic as in like funny shapes or anything. Graphic is in just bold eyeliner with some like cool glitter or something. Okay, I'm really gonna be extra. First, I just wanna take some of Too Shy by Colourpop because this just caught my eye. It's pretty. This is one of the ones I kept while I was doing my little declutter. It was my one from like a week or two ago, the one that I did my glitters in. And I just wanna put a little bit of this maybe on the outer corner or something. Wow. This is a crease detail brush that I'm using and it works so well for these eyeshadows. Just to bring in a little bit of a different blue because I feel like all the blues at the moment are very similar and I just want to like make it a little bit more diverse I guess in its color tones. I'm keeping everything very shimmery because I just think of shimmer when I think of the sea, when I think of water and you know if an Aquarius is quite eccentric and outgoing, not necessarily outgoing just like with their ideas you know. I want something kind of out there with my makeup too. So who out there is an Aquarius? Does this match you? Does this not match you? And this is probably not a makeup look you would normally wear on an everyday basis, but like, it's cool, okay. I've got glitter here, um, and I am going to do an ombre eye on it as well. So this is gonna be just all over the show. First off, I'm gonna take this Ice Blue Waterproof Color by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using a little um, eyeliner brush and this is dry AF so I'm just gonna put some Inglot Duraline in here which is this stuff it's just like a freshener 
you know, or you can mix pigment with it and make your own eyeliners and so forth. I was just gonna do black all the way across, but I changed my mind. This eyeline is like dead. Okay, we're gonna have to use a different one. Put this color, which is quite cool. This is called Prance by ColourPop. And this is a lot creamier, so this should be all right. I think the Anastasia Beverly Hill one, Hill, <laughs> Beverly Hills one is just old. I'm doing it a little bit thick, so I do wanna put a little bit of glitter on it. Just to about there. Can you hear my spa in the background? It's just like turned on and started heating itself up. So I'll chuck out the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Now I'm going to do a little bit of Azure by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like a shimmery, um, slightly deeper blue. I had to friggin' freshen this one up too because it was so dry. But to be honest, I've owned these for like two or three years. <laughs> Whoops. Just like that. Just putting that kind of, I don't know, another third across. And then I'm going to do some black with some um, gems and stuff. So I'm just going to try this. I haven't tried it yet. This is the um, Shiku, Shik, Shikoku Black, maybe, by Shiseido. And I'll go on with a wing liner brush to do my wing. Um, this is from the Marvel set, which is amazing. Get on it if you haven't yet. It's still pretty. I like you can tell in this lighting. Just to draw a wing. Okay, so nice big thick wings. This eye turned out really good. This one, not so much. Um, I'm just using my winged liner brush now that I've cleaned it to sharpen up. Like, see how I did a little bit of smudgy mud, smud, smudgy mudgy? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. So I'm just using my NARS concealer in a pot and basically just stamp it on. And you can see I've done something like super thick and there is a reason for that because we're gonna layer on some like thick chunky glitter. So I've got these two here by Glitter Gypsy. These are not eye safe, so completely do this at your own risk. You can go blind for putting not eye safe glitter near your eyes. So I'm going to be very careful. Um, like I said though, I actually don't really recommend it for you guys to do it. But anyway, <laughs> we're just having fun today. Seriously, look at that under eye area. It looks so bad in this lighting. Plus it does actually look bad because it's like all like just separating and weird. Maybe I can fix it soon. Anyway, so there's some like little stars and stuff and then just like big chunky glitters. So I'm going to glue some of these on. I'm just gonna use my duo brush on latex free glue and I'll probably have to do like a few layers of this and then I'm using my brush with a little bit of like makeup on it just so I can pick up the glitters individually kind of and this glitter here has like some purplish or the reflect to it I cannot talk right now so I'm pressing this one on first and this is going to give like, I don't know what color this is. It doesn't really have a color name, but if you go on the website, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, this is just going to give a kind of like, I don't know, like almost like water drop kind of reflection illusion. Like that's what I'm going for here. Plus it's very out there. It's very, I don't know, futuristic almost because of the like hexagon shapes. You could also use lip glitter if you do want something eye safe if you want to replicate this look. You just won't get the same chunky effect, but honestly, like, just be careful, guys. I don't want any of you to, like, hurt yourselves. This is at my own risk. And do you know what I did before? I tipped my coffee everywhere when I was doing my black liquid liner. Literally, like, just tossed it across my friggin' desk that I just cleaned yesterday. <sighs> Straight my life. Okay, so that's that side done. Well, not done, but the first layer done. We're doing another layer. And now over top, I'm going in with some of these little like star glitters. I know stars don't really go with the water theme, but I just really wanted to use them. Okay, so hold on, let me just make it a little bit brighter because it's finally going a little bit cloudy. So this is kind of what we're left with. Now I'm going to do my mascara and lashes. So I'll just quickly do it off camera and then I might just put on, actually no, let's do this first. I'm gonna use the lip glitter adhesive with the shade Paradise Skies, the glitter. I'm gonna put a little bit of this just under that inner corner like that. See how some of these glitters are like falling down too. So I'm just gonna like flick the ones that are too much off. So today I'm gonna use my Better Than Sex mascara with I'm going to use the Illusion Lashes by EXO Beauty. Okay, so the lashes are on and what I love about this is like you look straight ahead and it just looks like glitter or like depending on where the light's hitting but then as you turn you can like see that wing which is really fun might actually get rid of a couple of these glitters okay now i've just fixed my concealer i just put on some more concealer 
and then I um, said it was summer bisque rather than well rested. Same product, just a different shade and it looks fine now, so whatever. Um, I'm gonna bronze and I am loving this at the moment. I used this for the first time in my best of ultra, I think it was. I'll link the video down below. It's Barley Sands by Becca Bronzer. I'm using a jumbo face brush with it and I'm gonna bronze the heck out of my skin. I love this. It's such a good color. Like it's nice if you're a little bit more pale like I am. I've got no fake tan on right now. And my foundation and everything is the same color in the same product as in that video that I'll link down below, the dewy skin one. And then I'm just gonna contour with my Charlotte Tilbury. And then uh, for my blush, I'm gonna do something real peachy because I feel like it'll complement the blue really nicely. Um, I'll match my nails. <laughs> Let's do a mixture of these two shades. This is the Viseart Orange Violet Palette. Ooh, orange. It's like pumpkin. It's like pumpkin colored, which I like. I'm doing quite a flushed look. Kind of putting it on my cheekbones almost because then I put my um, highlighter on top and it just helps to kind of blend it all. This headband keeps falling down. It's driving me crazy. I was going to use my um, Benefit What's Up, which is my favorite cream highlighter ever, but I can't find it. So <laughs> I think it's like buried in my um, highlighter tub from when I mixed all my highlighters together. I like put all my highlight. Anyway, it's I, I can't be bothered rummaging, so I'm gonna use something different. Let's just use this, the Tartus Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter in the shade Stunner. Oh god, my fingers are so dirty. I almost put it on with my fingers and that would have been an absolute disaster. Um, I'm just gonna use this brush that I've already been using because I want the dewy skin look. Oh god, it's kind of going clunky and chunky because I have set my foundation with that um, EXO Beauty highlighter already. That's why I've got that nice glow. But um, I just want obviously an intense cheekbone. Okay, it's not too bad. I like the color though. Um, now I'm gonna highlight. <laughs> I'm gonna use this shade called a Wisp by Colourpop. It's like a bronzy kind of color. Um, like it's not super pale. I'm just gonna use it with a clean finger this time, not this finger. Look how, how does this happen? Does anyone else just get makeup everywhere? Cause I really do. I'm just gonna tap that kind of on top. The color's pretty, it's just like the texture of my skin looks a bit. That's right, we can face tune it. <laughs> now what on earth do I do with my lips? I kind of like the way they look, just like nothing. I'm just gonna use some of my Urban Decay Brow Tamer just to clean up my eyebrows. While I think about my um, lips, I might just put on some highlight on my brow bone now that we've finished everything else and I can kind of match it up. Let's dive straight back in to, oh, well I've only got one choice really, Lemon Cello, which I don't think I wanna do gold, so maybe not. <laughs> Might use this like warm color here. This is called Daisy Chain by Carity. So look at that texture on my cheeks. You can see all my little like pore bits and hairs. It's blinding, but um, it was straight on. Look, it looks dirty. That was probably my fault using a dirty finger by accident or something. Just a little bit on my brow bone. I love this eye makeup so much. I hope I did the Aquariuses out there proud. Fingers crossed. I honestly get so nervous doing these looks because I feel like people are counting on me to do an amazing look for their star sign. You know what I mean? Like if I was watching someone do Leo, I'd be like, this better be the best friggin' makeup I've ever seen because I'm a Leo and I want it to be good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I hope I did you proud. Um, I feel like we need to do just something really simple with the lips, maybe like a stain or something. Okay, this is a Korean brand. What is this? Etude House Color Lips Fit <laughs> um, in the shade See Through Fit Beige, I think. And it's like a stain. Ooh, it's way more pigmented than I thought. This smells so good, like sherbet or something. Okay, I feel like it actually dries like quite matte, so I'm just like, <sighs> oh, I had that um, lip plumper on my lips already. This is not working out. Yeah, it dries like super matte. Okay, I wanna try this. I might take this off and do something else, but this is Thunderstruck Everlasting Glimmer Veil Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D. Oh yeah, I'm taking this off. I'm gonna use the shade Rescue Me, which is my charity shade with XO Beauty. Pushing this. If you haven't got it yet, go get it. It's for a good cause half of all of the profits. Go straight to Hoo Ha, which stands for helping us help animals or helping you help animals. Um, and they save lots of animals. They're a no cool shelter and they do an amazing job. So it's for a good cause. 
once again it's called rescue me I'll link it below it's going on funny on top of this glitter YOLO and then on top of that I'm gonna try midnight cowgirl gloss oh my gosh by urban decay because I just feel like I need it to be more wet look you know god this is really bothering me how it's got like this blue like stripe on my face look at that straight on it looks so bad so that's the completed Aquarius look. Do you guys like it? Do you guys think I did an okay job? It's very bold um, and it's very colorful and eccentric, a little bit like out there. Kind of shows that like water element, you know, like the aqua. <laughs> and it's a little bit strange. I mean, we can all be a little bit strange sometimes. So. Let me know what you think and let me know what you think I should do for the next sign. What even is it? Can you comment below and let me know what the next one is? I cannot be bothered searching it right now. I need to go like eat or something because I am hungry. Let me know what I should do for the next one. What kind of colors, what kind of look? Like I'd love to hear your input because this is like so much fun. There's so many different angles you can take on these like Zodiac looks. The last one was very like graphic. This one's more like, like less graphic, more bold, more colorful. Like I'm really excited to see what I come up with throughout this series. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.